How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. So today I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'm trying a string by a company that I do like and I have tried some of their strings before, Signum Pro. But this string I never really thought I was gonna try but I finally decided to give it a try. Today we're taking a look at the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket. Let's check it out. All right, so the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket. Signum Pro, as you guys know, is made in Germany. It says right in the package here, made in Germany. And this Yellow Jacket string is supposed to be a low-powered, heavy spin string. It's a six-sided, hexagonally shaped string. And the reason why I didn't really feel like trying this in the past is because I heard it's a very low-powered. I like a sort of medium to high-powered poly that assists me on my power game. But this is supposed to be a low-powered, more muted, deader playing string, and it's supposed to be for bigger hitters. The yellow jacket comes in two gauges, a 130 and a 122 gauge. That's a pretty big gap in the gauge thickness, and it actually comes in two colors, the standard yellow as well as a black. One set of the Signum Pro yellow jacket is about $11 USD or $135 for a whole reel. So on the back of the package here, there's a spin rating and it's rated a 10 out of 10 but it's also rated only a 6 out of 10 for comfort, so I'm assuming this is going to be slightly stiffer. It's probably going to be on the lower powered side. And on the back here, it actually says that Signum Pro recommends you string this string 10% lower tension than your usual polyester, which further makes me believe that it is going to be a stiffer string. All right, but I ignored the warning on the package. I did not drop the tension by 10%. I want to see how it plays at my usual reference tension. So I strung it in my Extreme Tour Night. I actually just got this racket and I think the yellow jacket looks really nice in this yellow and black racket. But I strung it at 52, which is my reference tension, 52 in the mains and 50 in the crosses. And I have the 122 millimeter gauge. I like thinner gauges, so I went with that. I think the 130 is probably gonna be too dead and too muted for me. So let's get on the court. Let's hit with this Signum Pro yellow jacket and see how it plays. So let's start with the pros of the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket. This string has great control on full swings. The main reason for this is that the response is pretty muted. It isn't completely dead like a RPM Blast or Vocal Cyclone, but is much deader than what I typically like to use. I think the Yellow Jacket is pretty similar in feel to the Head Hawk Touch. It doesn't feel as stiff as the package said it would be. I didn't lower the tension from my usual reference of 52 and it still had a decent amount of give. The Yellow Jacket complemented my Head Extreme Tour nicely. Since that's a fairly powerful racket, I got the control I needed on full swings, especially on my returns. I like to step in, take the return early, and push through contact to redirect my opponent's power, and the Yellow Jacket was just dead enough to where my shots didn't fly long. This tends to be a problem with more springy strings. There is a slight break-in period where the Yellow Jacket feels really stiff. I was worried this would continue throughout the day, but it quickly settled in and became easier to hit with. Interestingly, this string actually vibrates quite a bit for a stiff and muted string. Muted might not even be the right word to describe it. I had a dampener on during this playtest, but the strings kept pinging and I could feel the vibrations in my hand. It didn't have the crispness that the Headlinks Tour or Solinko Tour Bite has, but it actually gave me some decent feedback on the slower swings such as drop shots, lobs, and angle volleys. But on the faster swings like serves, returns, and aggressive ground strokes, the Yellow Jacket didn't resonate the way Lynx Tour or Tour Bite would. Those strings have a satisfying pop sensation and gives me the illusion that I'm hitting harder than I probably am. I also seem to have better pinpoint accuracy with strings that have that pop. With the Yellow Jacket, I didn't quite have that confidence on full strokes, but I would still put the response under the pros category because it actually gave me good impact response on the slower placement shots. Aside from the returns, I really like the yellow jacket on my kick serve. This is the benchmark where I judge a string's spin potential most and I got my kick serves to bounce up and away from my opponent's strike zone and I could move up to attack the ball without hesitation. The yellow jacket grips the ball very well on slices as well. 
Defensive slices were a bit harder to clear the net with because the string doesn't have much power, but offensive slices were a dream. I could feel the strings displacing as the ball would sink in and I could push the slices low and deep, especially on my backhand slices. I've been incorporating some chip and charge tactics recently and the yellow jacket was a good string for that strategy. Importantly, it also maintains that spin potential throughout the playtest. Even after the tension begins to drop, the string continues to snap back well and only after about the fifth set of hitting did I notice the strings getting stuck out of place. Being able to maintain that level of spin forever is unrealistic but the yellow jacket did an admirable job. So to sum up, the yellow jacket has great control and full aggressive swings because the response is on the deader side but it actually vibrates quite a bit which is good for the touch shots and slower swings. It also gets great spin all around and keeps the ball inside the lines. But unfortunately for me, the pros stopped there. So let's get into what didn't quite work for me. Okay, so the cons of the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket. There are quite a few. First of all, the biggest con for me is the fact that I felt this string has a very small sweet spot. Anything hit outside the center of the string bed just died and the response level dropped. When I mentioned the Yellow Jacket vibrated a lot for a deader string, this was not the case whenever I hit outside the sweet spot. This was a really weird feeling that it's difficult for me to put into words. The best that I can describe it was that it felt like RPM blast outside the sweet spot but felt more like head hawk touch when I hit dead center. Consequently, the power, touch, and spin all dropped off significantly on off center hits. I take a really aggressive cut on returns so those were fine because I actually want the string to play a little stiffer on returns but during rallies, I couldn't hit penetrating shots if I didn't make clean contact. Also at the net, if my opponent ripped the ball at me and I couldn't defend quickly, my shot would pop up or I would just dump it into the net. Defense with the yellow jacket was my weakest area and unless I was swinging all out on offense, I really didn't feel like the string gave much assistance. Which leads me to my next point, even if I struck the ball cleanly in the center, the yellow jacket is not a powerful string by any means. The added topspin let me drive through the ball and hit heavy shots but flat shots didn't have much acceleration and would lose momentum pretty quickly. Lack of power was noticeable on serves as well. My flat serve didn't have that extra speed that I have with crisper or more elastic strings. My slice serve is where I noticed the lack of power most. My slice serve has the lowest trajectory of my three serves and the yellow jacket did me no favors. It took me almost a full set of serving to get the height adjustment on my toss just right. Before that, I was dumping slice serves into the net almost every time. Any string that causes me to have to adjust any part of my mechanics means it's probably not the string for me long term. Some people prefer these deader playing strings because they are quote unquote predictable. For me, the crisp and lively playability of something like Tourbite is more predictable. I know exactly where on the string bed I'm hitting and where my shot will land on the court. With the yellow jacket, I'll give it some credit, my shots landed in the general vicinity of where I was aiming, but the lack of power made it difficult to hit past or through my opponents with regularity. And lastly, I felt the tension drop off quite significantly during the fourth match I played with the yellow jacket. I was in a tense back and forth set and the score was 6 serving 5. My partner and I were returning and I felt myself begin to tense up a bit. When I did, my return started sailing long out of nowhere. This continued through the game and we eventually lost in the tiebreaker. I know this wasn't just because I was tense, I did some cooldown rallies after the set and I still noticed some extra spring in the string. But I just lost confidence in my returns during that match and that is the shot where my tension stability matters most. The reason for that is because I like to step in and rip returns back kind of like Agassi. Without that control and low trajectory, I end up sailing returns long. Since I'm stepping in, I'm also further inside the court than when I'm rallying from the baseline. That means my margin for error becomes smaller and I need to be more disciplined. Once I felt the tension go, I couldn't trust this string on my returns at all. But up until that point, my returns were awesome because the string plays so dead. And it took a few matches before I really started to notice that tension drop. But once it hits, it takes a nosedive. This string is fairly stiff so it feels pretty durable. I don't think most people will want to play with the yellow jacket until it breaks because the tension will drop long before the string breaks. I also noticed less control with my net game once the tension dropped. I had less control on the touch shots and I ended up floating drop shots which my opponent could get to easily. Whenever I tried to punch through a volley or when I was under duress and trying to defend at net, a quick twitch of my racket resulted in me sending my dig volleys past the baseline. Towards the end of this playtest, I just couldn't trust this string anymore which was a bit of a letdown. 
So let's answer the question of who is the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket for? I think it's for players who like a slightly muted string that plays with great spin and control but can also provide their own power. The sweet spot on this string was not that forgiving, so I think this string will be more suited for advanced players who can consistently hit the center of the strings. Also, the string is on the stiffer side so make sure your arm is strong and healthy before trying this string or others like it. If you're sensitive to tension drop, the yellow jacket might not be for you. In the Signum Pro line, the Poly Plasma has some of the best tension maintenance I've ever seen so maybe go with that one. So there was a reason I never really wanted to try this string which I mentioned in the intro and it turns out that reason was validated. Truth be told, I didn't like this string all that much. That's not to say it's a bad string, I'm sure there are players out there who this string is more geared towards. So if you're one of those people, let me know what you enjoy about the Yellow Jacket or other strings in the Signum Pro line. Thank you for watching this review of the Signum Pro Yellow Jacket string right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.